Alright, it's time for some more Mass Effect 3. So now we're back on the Normandy, or another variant of it. I wonder how many Normandies the Alliance goes through. Well, that doesn't really make a difference. Last time, uh, but okay. So before I get to any uh, missions, let's go visit our good friend uh, Liara once again. from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph. And if you have a moment, it right, let's skip all this. I'll inform you if you found In the meantime, Doc Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent Shadow Broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If Just for argument, this is a bit of a recap. If either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. God, Shepard, you have big hands. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Oh yeah, let's go to a terminal. Is there some upgrades? Oh. Hmm. And I can... So I think... It was shield I picked the last time. All right. Anyways. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Wait, who's which terminal? Mine or hers? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. She better. After all, I'm the commander on this ship. Oh, what's this? Oh, Memorial. Well, there's Kasumi and Thane. Two individuals who do not survive the, uh... Who do not survive the, uh, final assault. You know what? We'll talk to these crewmen later. We've got we've got stuff to take care of. All right, let's go. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel.
this looks way different. Oh, you can't just uh, fly your little ship to that area? Maybe not yet. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, fuel, yada yada, blah blah blah. System. Be aware, however, that each time the boss is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, clean away until you have a completed mission before returning. So essentially, we have to uh, be careful of where we're going. I'm just going to try this out first. Oh well. mission. getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. So I wonder who Was this old like friend is. Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Definitely got to take that. 
success. Oh, it has like 2,500. Is it not doing any treasure? This I think health and shield is way more important than melee damage. After all, you're going to be in the middle of the fray anyway, so there you go. I only have two points here, but uh, those points do absolutely nothing until, uh, until I get one couple more levels. Sent us winter gear. Not sure what, not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here. But I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. Power sources can be cannibalizing and converted to power. Our combat gear is filtered units instead. At least it'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. At least we get to make snowmen now. call yourself soldiers and then uh, you leave stuff lying around for civilians to pick up. Yes, sir. You're better, seriously.
Well, I mean, since nothing is going on here, we'll put our weapons away. Oh, there he is. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Midori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Okay, I've that seen takes the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. I guess I guess I can't get up there after all. Tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters.
General, do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Delavan Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. The Garrus. Oh, Garrus is bad. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! In this wait, Joker, we're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? 
heading. I'm right behind you. Admiral Stephen Garrus Vakarian is a noted Turian sharpshooter and combat. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen, eh? Just me? Or do those Reapers look like Turians? You're right. They do. I think we're done here. Around. Uh huh. As I thought.
What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. your military holding up look around that should give you some idea you're putting up a good fight for now but how long does it take before the fight's kicked out if they'd only listen to your warnings about the reapers you might have been ready maybe hard to figure how you prepare for something like this Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. That sounds bad! Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primarch from me. Right behind you! Move into the compound! 
Oh, lovely. Two of them. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A uh, commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit to represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. you think you're not qualified I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy and I piss people off my family's been military since the unification war war is my life it's in my bones but that kind of passion is deceptive can make you seem reckless when you're anything but war is your resume at a time like this we need leaders who've been through that hell I like that you're right and honestly Uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. I apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. 
So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Shepard, what's happening? Something's in the AI core. Edie, you'd better go quickly. I'll check on my own computers. Running safe mode diagnostics. Please stand by. The problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. You sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know who you're talking to, right? Yeah, yeah. I just had to check. We'll do. You heard him, Shepard. We're dead in the water. Joke, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? What in the... Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. 
This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Varen if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. 
While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. She installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Weird. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Oh, I bet it does. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Well, that was a bit unusual, but... Well, anyways... I think our next destination would be the Citadel. Oh. Oh, 
there's no more uh, collecting resources. Let's go to the Citadel. Lieutenant. Uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Adina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving the orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. If you need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in, and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. 
I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know... I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation. And half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. 
That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... a loud... You shot Bryson. You killed him. No, I couldn't have. I'm not a murderer. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper Killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan. But he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. Crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? 
Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the Galaxy Map program. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? By Anne Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? We'll take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old, at least, and its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. As far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rakdai. Their movements during the Rakdai Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong, and Rakdai weren't in planet with Reaper Tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. Mm. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rachni ships, it may help us narrow our search. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map right fragment maybe he was studying it as an object of importance we should look more closely at a sample meteorite said with traces of element zero would leviathan need ezo while it is not consumed as fuel during ftl travel element zero will decay after several centuries of active use if leviathan is old enough it would need to replenish its supplies Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding the search filter now. 
Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding it now. complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. activity. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Element zero deposits. Three possibilities. Arachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Hmm. Well, doesn't do much. But hey. Well, not much else to do here. It's time to move on.
shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. Poor Pilau. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. Brutal. Commander, nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Let's not overdo it. Well, you could at least buy me around. I had a feeling you were working up to that. Yeah, and I have a feeling you're not gonna buy me one. Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole a mega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega. I kept the blood pack, blue suns, and eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. 
And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Oh, is that nice to see her again? I guess. I suppose. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Commander Shepard, John Dunbao, Special Tactics and Recall. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was a gift from a thief I'd been chasing, Kasumi Goto. She died several months ago. Kasumi was a hero. She died helping me attack the Collector base. I merely wanted some data she'd stolen, Commander. I admired her personally. Her attitude was almost Solarian. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre Robins. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? 
On it. Any idea what you're hoping to find? Suspicious transfers. Data usage outside the normal range for ambassadorial staff. So, we have no idea. Hopefully we'll know it when we see it, Commander. The Counselor. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships, I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the Counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatrace for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His homeworld is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. With Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all their worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries, Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Mm. I should go. I'll be here. left. Time to move. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Common. I think I'm ready to end it with them. Things weren't great even before. You heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. 
Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. stuff here as a plate. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model for store credits. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Eating with me the whole time? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. Well, that's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. 
Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's not spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It would be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. talking about Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Naro. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. If this goes wrong, it's your ass. Quiet! Even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Watch to know. Your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch. 
crack yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Just, I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who is that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, that's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Goods, denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers... At Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Of course, the Book of Blennix was lost on our home. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. If that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. 
I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. I get it. I release Sidera so you can take her down and assume control of the gang. What? What are you... It's brilliant. You'd earn Arya's respect instantly. Uh... Yeah. You see right through me. And then I'd make the deal with Arya. Right? Exactly. You've got this all figured out. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, that's the plan. Let Sedaris out of jail. She won't be breathing free air for long. Good man. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of him. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason, and these guys found out why. Can we patch them up? Get them back into the fight? Maybe a few, though it'd be pretty much a death sentence. We're all facing a death sentence. Better a soldier goes down fighting than waited out here. A lot of them would agree, but my people are running low on guns, ammo, transports. We have to ration it out to the troops who are still healthy. Any sign of your family? Not yet. But I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. It's nothing I can't handle. I don't doubt it. But remember to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go.
command. What are you up to, Shepard? Release Sedaris immediately. She won't be a threat to anybody. Something tells me I don't want to know, but I trust you. I'll release her today. Sure hope you don't come to regret this. everyone who watched. I'll see everybody next time.